I am going to be there in just a second. Oh! Watch out! Oh my goodness! But did you notice this This ship is equipped with incandescent bulbs? Where did they find those? I, I have no idea. They did an archaeological dig on Earth. Way <laughs> over in the solar no, system. Wait. Well, that didn't work. Hi everyone. In today's video, we're checking out the new Drake Cutter in some more detail, going over some of the ship with a fine tooth comb. We tried fitting a couple land vehicles inside, and then admired some of the design work put into this ship. It turns out we were all very impressed with the level of detail that was put into this one. After that, we tried fitting it into a C2, but that didn't work out so well. I hope you enjoy the video, and I look forward to seeing you in the verse. I am going to be there in just a second. Oh! Watch out! Oh my goodness! Oh! That All was right, a close I think call. I figured out how to do it. Thank you. And please visit. Hey, uh, your landing gear. Your landing wow. gear isn't down. My landing gear isn't down. No, it is not. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, your ship's uh, for well, some reason your ship's bouncing around all over the place. Put your landing <laughs> yeah, gear down. For Quiet. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I don't, is it down? I can't even tell. Uh, I don't think. I don't think it's. Down. I, yeah, I don't know. It's down. not down. Oh, no, it's not. Thanks. Down. Now you just blew me across the yard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's there. kind of a given. Oh, and there. there's a cutter over here too. No way. I don't believe yep. it. I gotta oh, come and check is. it out. Is uh. Um. Is open. Am I in the same party as you are, Sky? Yeah. Uh, are you behind me? Yes. Oh. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was stalking <laughs> behind you for a decent amount of time, actually. Yeah? Were you keeping up pretty well? Yeah. Well, I'm of course. Just, <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. <laughs> I would be very concerned if this couldn't keep up. I wanted to look oh, at the, there we go. the thrusters. <laughs> it might be the buttons that say doors. Okay, I find it a little scary that your shield on off is like it's literally just a metal toggle switch. Well, so you Start gotta to jump to get over the wheels, but you can; it'll work. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it won't. Maybe, maybe it will. Come on. Okay, maybe it just maybe it won't work. Can you back it up a little bit up onto the ramp? Slightly? I can, but now I'm. Now you're stuck. Crying out loud! Open can the you... ramp. What was that? Okay. Um, we must have bounced a little bit because I able I was able to get out. There's a Corsair above us. So it really kind of needs you kind of need to back in to get it to actually be kind of functional. S uh, start, um, SC trade tools or something like that. Well, okay, you you can do it, but it's just kind of cumbersome. It doesn't really work that well. Only put you this way. If this is your first game package, uh, I th yeah. think you'll. Yes, <laughs> to be honest, you're not going to shove it in a Mustang or an Aurora. I think those are the only two ships in this price class. Because you go up a, you go up in cost if you're going for the uh, Avenger. You know, in the dark, in kind of the darker uh, hangar, this actually looks pretty cool. Thank you. Please visit. Oh yeah, that's uh Man. It's like it's like driving a shopping cart through Walmart and hitting a pebble. Alright. It's <laughs> I guess all I'm over the place. Grim hex to sell it. Wow. 
wow, yeah, that's like no contest. Yeah, this is definitely... Uh, although, well, you could pull forward a little bit more, I guess, probably. Well, let me see. Let me actually... You know what? It still would be easier if you turned it around and put, put it on port side. Yeah. Oh, but, you know, what's apparently, the I, apparently I only have the option to exit the vehicle. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, wait. Uh, now the option to enter the vehicle came... What the heck's going on here? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, you might want to slide over a little bit. There you go. Good job. Thank you. Are you in the garage? We are in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it was storming outside. What are we supposed to do with this outside? Come on, yeah. man. No, that's why we have garages. Exactly. Yeah. It actually looks really cool in here. Like Dave, look at the en go up and look actually oh. look at the engine. Hold on, let me. I'm, like gonna, the, I'm gonna flip the this around. Thrusters. I'm gonna flip this around and put it in, in there. Rocket engine, it makes no friggin' sense. But... Yeah, because uh, I can stand right behind it and not get burned. Yeah, well, maybe yeah, it's an ion engine then. That's probably what See, it is. That's, that's what I was. Thinking. Okay. Oh no. no. You getting a tan there? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nope, it won't let me stand up. Well, you, because you're under the engine. Yeah, I just oh, you're to trying to stand into the engine. Yeah, I was. I wanted to just see if it would let me do it. What's this red light? The red light. Fuel port. Wait, where's the fuel port? Um, Red underneath of... Lighted. Oh, wait, wait, what is this? <clears throat> oh, that's the fuel port. The button pushes... You push the button and then opens the fuel port. So it's how are you supposed to do that out in space? Um, oh, maybe you question. open it from the inside. Or maybe there's the fuel port right here, right here up front. This is the refuel fuel port. This is the fuel yeah. port for ship-to-ship -ship fuel. This is the fuel port for in the hangar fuel. Which, I don't know, I, I kind of would just think you would have one fuel port, maybe? No, oh, because this one's in... Would you want to take a caster and, like, hike it up to here? Or is over there, you just kind of grab just a Just kind of lazily and... just meander your way up to the side of the well, ship yeah. and just kind of just... You just drag a hose and just... Flop it on there like a, like a sack of potatoes. Just... Yeah. Okay, I guess I, I can see your point. I fell off the bed. <gasps> see, that's, that's an ergonomic design. So, what the bed? What I, what, the what the I bed. think they really, really need to do... What, you don't want to know what I think they really need to do for about these this fueling spigot? Uh, no, but you're going to tell us, aren't you? If you, do, mm -hmm. if you say no and you don't want to know, then I'm not going to say anything. Well, I'm kind of curious now. I Why think does this have air intakes? To take air in... I guess. Okay. For an engine that that we're assuming is some sort of plasma based drive. Um uh, maybe it's cooling, uh, maybe a cooling system, maybe? In space? No, that was that's just for the atmospheric <laughs> version. That's just for yeah, that's in ammo. Wow, there's a lot of pipes on the inside of this thing. Mm-hmm. They look exactly like dryer. They look like dryer vents. <laughs> yeah, they kind of do, actually. Tumbrel Cyclone has ETAM in it. What's an ETAM? Uh, maybe I guess it does. He, um, we got a drug runner here. Um, hmm? Lazarus, he's a, a drug runner. ETAM's a drug. I I know, but when did I have my Cyclone with drugs in it? Um. Oh, is that? Let me guess. It's one of those. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> yes. No, it's showing officer. up here on oh, one of the microtech moons, and I, it's letting me sell it. I huh. think I think you're missing the I think you're missing the bottom line here. The bottom line is, you got drugs in your car, Mister. You're going to jail. I, I think you're missing the point. <laughs> I don't remember putting drugs in my car. Yeah, that's what they or, all say. That's what they all say. Having it on this moon, 
to the point where I can sell it at this place. I don't, I don't care where you are or where you thought you had it. You're here now, and you got drugs in your car. No, I don't have drugs in my car. <laughs> I don't know. You just admitted it to me. That's an admission of guilt. So, this bar. Do you have that on camera? Uh, actually, I'm recording. Yes, I have it on recording. Ah, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I sliding Why? down? Dave is recording. I don't know. Sorry, what? Don't Why admit I... that Dave is recording. Why am I? Yeah. Why am I sliding down? <laughs> this barcode. You sure is... the ship ain't sliding up? Oh, oh look, there's more oh. rolling in the engine. <laughs> it is the yeah, ship. Yeah, your sh the ship is moving actually. Interesting. I guess yes. gravity. So the well the engine. It's are probably on. the thrusters. So look. What? So this panel is welded and bolted. That's Here, the this. best way to do it, I guess. Well, come look at this. It's also dented. Um, look. Welded, bolted. Um, right here. Uh, you're not looking the right place. Yes, there. See that right there. Uh, to the right, left, 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 left. left. Oh, yeah, that piece right, right there. Right yeah, dead yeah, yeah. Center. Yeah. Okay. So, what's holding That's it back? That's a weld. <laughs> <laughs> And there's one on each, so they bolted it on, so then they, they welded it. So they started welding on the bottom and worked their way around to the top. Oh, no, wait, no. No, they started on the top. Yeah, Look at the way they're laid. The, the beads, they start on the top and worked their way around the bottom, and it keeps getting closer and closer to me. Ah, I'm going to get run over. Yeah, that weld is uh, pretty impressive. Well, the funny thing is that, so stuff back there is welded, but then you come up to the nose and it's riveted. Well, you know, when they got a program manager who, you know, doesn't really do it. probably automotive. Doesn't do, yeah, probably automotive. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'd be willing to bet there's some Autom standard and some metric diff sizes for these bolts and stuff on here, too. Half the vehicle's know, in standard and half of it's in metric. That would be interesting. Oh, so you're saying, like, one design house does, like, the front half, and then it's joined right here to what the other design house is, and then this yeah. is the next join? Yeah, you know, pretty much, like, every car that's made today, you gotta, I'm you gotta change to an alternator. I'm to change some alien dimensions in there, too. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> anytime you go to work on a car, you want to take an alternator off, you need, you need two standards and a metric to take the dang thing off. It's just stupid. Uh, does the lore say what the Banu or... Gion measurement system is there? Is that a little <laughs> too granular? Oh, what's I this? I have not seen anything on that yet. Hey, can you? Hey, there's a part. Um, a part. Uh, it's like what you see. Yeah, that right there under this thing. It's that label that you see on car parts that says like what it is. Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Man, I can't see it called. though. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go shut your ship off because I can't. <laughs> Why? This is amusing. But what? did you notice this? This ship is equipped with incandescent bulbs. Where'd they find those? I I have no idea. They did an archaeological dig on Earth. Way <laughs> over in the solar no, system. No wait. No, I think aren't they on a? Uh, isn't Drake on a planet that was basically a scrap? Is basically a scrapyard? Um, well, if, if that's the lore behind it, then I would completely understand the way these ships are built. Pretty sure it's a planet that was abandoned by the Navy, uh, you know, a few hundred years ago. Huh. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Yeah, that would, ex just... that would explain all the parts. That would actually really explain a lot. <laughs> at that, that, at that luggage rack. I was just kind of curious if there was anything there. It's still blowing me around. Oof. It just knocked me on the ground. I'm gonna get out of the way. Here, I'll turn off the engines. Yeah, hey, do that. <laughs> Wait, before you turn off the engines, let me come in underneath of it and look at the... the I mean... The roof. Right. Hey, does oh. it... Yeah, well, look behind that, though. It looks like it's got an engine strapped to it. Mm, something. It's got something going on up what there. What is that? I don't know. So, maybe your oxygen supply system. Oh yes, let's put that on the. Oh, that would be a Drake thing. <laughs> you know, 
I would be, uh, actually, you might be right. I would be curious, those two pipes in the front. Oof. Yeah, he knocked me over again. Horse. So it did help when I put it in the top. Okay, uh, flip the other way. Let's look at the bottom. Yeah, there's, there's a bike rack or something. There's more pipes underneath it here. Well, I tell you what, man, you, you better not accidentally just touch anything with that ship, because there's like... Is it the missile rack? There's more componentry on the outside, no, I think, than on I, the inside. That's what I've been trying to... Who designs a ship oh, that no, puts so much of the stuff on the outside? The missiles are towards the front. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah they're... they're close. Yeah. Yep. Those... You yep. see him on my screen? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, a Drake ship with internal missiles. Is it? NC. Mm -hmm. heck was that? Oh, landing gear. That was your landing gear. No. What that center thing is. What center oh. thing? Oh, on top, you mean? <laughs> I think... I actually... I'm actually going to check on Dave's theory, because... I'm getting out of here. You know, Honestly, that would be the funny thing to do. Just go over people's positions and start blowing them around. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Well, it looks like you got some kind mm. of inlet here. Some, like an AC unit or something, maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah, this Drake. This wouldn't have AC. That. That could be. You'd have to have AC or something. No, you just gotta, you just got to live with it. Oh, look, but this is your vent right here. You see that, that stainless-looking thing? Oh, I was thinking this big center one right up in the in the middle here with the no, smoke I No, I noticed it. that, but why would you have... Yeah, I see this one's got some kind of fog coming out of it, too. Yeah. That's smoke. It's a Drake ship. <laughs> you would be. It's probably on so, fire. You'd be so dead. Oh, uh, why are they well? So, why are there welded joints next to a rubber, like flexi joint? Like oh, right that. there. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I guess that's a good question. It was that when they designed it, it was just a little bit short, so they had to weld it another two inches onto it. I hate when it happens. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. It's more common. Oh, look! Than every one joint there. has that. Every single one. Yes, I noticed. Well, look, look back where I'm standing. Look at, look at this monstrosity. <laughs> Looks like the exhaust under my vehicle. Oh, it does. does it? Yeah. Wow. Now I'm looking at it thinking they didn't do such a bad job. Well, I mean, my question is what's in the pipe? I, I don't know. That's It's probably... They no. probably intended it to be some Colin? kind of... A, well, that, that, yeah, so that's what I'm wondering. If if it's moving, whatever it is, it comes down something here. Like air, it's pretty benign. But if it's coolant, whatever it is, it comes right uh, to here, and then I and then you lose it inside the ship right here. I'm duplicating ships again. So it comes hmm. up, comes through there, splits. Oh, you know what? I wonder, you know what, that's probably the two, well now that wouldn't make sense yeah, at the, all. Um, for the thing on the roof. Yeah, that's that, I bet that's where those two hoses are on the roof. Which then go back to the back of the ship again, to whatever that control or generative module so look, is. So this is definitely for air, because look down both sides of the... Okay, so here, I'm going to pull the ship out. Uh, the, we just uh, jumped to the station, so, and that's it. Uh oh. Okay, so at the back, just getting stand by, stand yeah. by the pillow. Okay. And look, look at the plaque just above it. So on that wall, nope, to look to the right. Right? To just right and down. Yeah, there you go. Yep, that plaque right there. Oh, yeah, that's in the, the, um, the, that is in the, um, the cutty, too. Really? I didn't know that. Yep. It's actually in a couple of places in the cuddy. One is on the bunk beds, and I think there's one in the cockpit somewhere, if I remember correctly. 
And there may be more, I don't know, but those are the two that I've seen, so... Hey, I wonder if this is for engineer. This looks like it's for engineering gameplay, potentially. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking, yeah. So the whole... Well, let me, um... Can you swap a relay from the toilet? <laughs> da, 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 da. You, you want to make sure you have your helmet? Yeah. So you have again. Oh, so, no, those two tubes come in way further up front than I think than that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I you know can't what? even really speculate on what this is. What? I'm getting this thing out of here. This is right? gonna, yeah, it's just going to annoy me here. Let's floor it. <laughs> yes, there you go. Wait, see if you can write it down. Uh, oh, it's not going down, I don't think. I know. Remember, space has friction. Yeah, although... Those wheels are still maxed. Look at that. Look at them just ripping. Oh, they stopped. Okay. So there we go. Now I can get in and out a lot easier. I'll laugh if uh, you see a, a message in chat about someone just absolutely smacking into it. <laughs> the PTV I, warped, I warped into the station, man, and I, saw, I hit some guy's PTV, blew me up. Uh, so we've got, oh. okay, so can you see, are you above, okay, so you're above. I am standing directly under where those vents go up into the ceiling. Yeah, that's, that's where, that is where these tubes come down. Oh, okay, alright, so that, that must be what they're for then. Oh. Yeah, so it splits off inside the ship, comes up here, comes out, and then heads back towards the back of the ship again, and then reconverges inside the unit itself. Well, we, we still don't know what it is, what it Yeah, I have no, no clue. Like, and now, I, now I'm looking at it, up, at it up close, I have even more questions. Well, I, the, I, again, like, the, the, the thing to me is this just... Why is there so much componentry on the outside of the ship? Oh, well, honestly, the thing is, is we just need to wait until they do the adaptive damage model and then... Turn off the shields, bust out again, and start shooting stuff and see what breaks. See, yeah. I'll tell you real quick. <laughs> yep, exactly. But this, like I said, this just with all these, with, yeah, all this, all this stuff on the outside of the ship just doesn't really, doesn't they, really but, make sense to me. No, but it's crazy how detailed this is. The, yeah, these guys that designed this one up did a... <laughs> They probably spent I mean, a long time working on this ship. I, I would I would expect because well, there's a lot. Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of detail in this thing. So these are clearly some sort of like tie down, hang on. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Like a lift point mm -hmm. that are are bolted and then welded in place. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like a duplication of that would be a duplication of work. Well, so what it is is they bolt them down so that they know where to weld it. Yeah, but that's concurrent to Lee Manufacturing. Your customer's not going to pay for mm -hmm. something that's bolted and welded. Yeah. Maybe it's aftermarket. <laughs> it's a brand new ship. I literally just picked it up. Yeah, pretty much. Dealer installed? Okay, I'll, I'll buy that. Yeah, another one here, like, bolted, welded. Well. There's a bunch of stuff that's bolted and welded. I would. Back. I mean, yeah. like I said, the detail. Really impressed at the detail. Some of it doesn't make sense, but very impressive. Yes, but rivets. And I'm looking welding. at it. Yeah. I'm looking at it from, through the eyes of an engineer. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, me too. I understand. <laughs> and so are you. <laughs> so yep. you know, it, pretty much anywhere I, I'm, I'm sure you do this too. But anytime oh, you see ev something that every every day you know, in re in life. That's... Yeah, it's like, oh, that, that's a new car. I, I see that cowling on I top. I see, it's, yep. Look at, oh, that's it's, a flaw. It's that's a bad molded. design. Yep, yeah, exactly. That, that's a flaw. It's like, or, ah, that they sucked it there. Demolding was a little on the yep, side. Yep, exactly. Like that kind of yep. Yeah. That's pretty much everything in life I look at that way now. Yeah. No. 
I cannot find S any wells so, on the outside of this ship. Slow as in that first time. Will you quit moving? I'm not moving. I yes, am moving. You, you are you hundred percent moved. Um so slow as in like the first time I went and jumped the ditch with my Sonoma? Actually a little slower than that. Okay. Hey, okay, you're moving again. You're moving again and almost hit me. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, maybe turn okay, your wait, engines hold, off. No, they hold were off. off. I don't know. Am I still moving? You just... You know what? You're moving. It's it this ship. From the thrusters. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I what? saw it as you went by. Oh, it's the thrusters in here. Just will... They... Well, then we gotta do it in atmosphere. Then we have to do an atmosphere. So... Wait. Uh... -uh. Can you blow people's ship off the landing pad? Uh, yeah, I think like we might just have found might have just found another troll with this ship. Nope, it still does it just as bad. This we can't do it. Um, let me try from the front, man. Uh, nope, it's doing it. I can't. I I can't do it. All right, here we go. Let's see if this works. Landing gear is still down. I'm gonna put it. And on. so is your rear ramp. I'm gonna close all. You see, I got a ramp on mine. I'm using it. Oh. Um, nope. Yeah. That blew me all the way through the ship. <laughs> nope, I don't think it's going to work. I think it's too wide with the engines. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, too wide with the engines. Was... Nope, no way. Wow, so this is actually wider than the whole A when the whole A is collapsed. Yeah. Huh, okay. So, uh, next, next question. Can you break off those nacelles and still fly the ship? <laughs> Lazarus, okay. Wait, I didn't know Pisces pulled up at these. Yeah. Okay, that... Um, it's it's red. The, the right, engine or the, the whole right, ship? The right engine is red. Oh, okay, so you should be able to, like, track her off. There we go. Hey! Okay. One down. So now so you've broken off. Now. Yeah, try to fit now. Well, I'm going to try to get this other one off, too. Oh, no, try to fit now, because then you can see if it would fit with just one engine. Because you might not be able to fly with no engine. Oh, I'm sorry. Hard. <laughs> it's harder to fly now than it will be with no engine. I wonder. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it won't be flying. Put it in VTOL. I mean, that's not a bad idea. They fly. Oh, that's a bad oh. idea. <laughs> <laughs> that did not that work. Great. No, it did not work at all. Subay can't just turn one engine off. Well, that didn't work. No. No, because um, now you don't have any engines. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was going to say those things are loud and I can hear you from here, but I got your stream up. Uh oh. Um, help. Ah! Move, get out uh, of the way! <laughs> I have disabled my engines! Oh Did no, get out, get out, get out of the ship! Oh no! Are you still alive? No. Oh. That first shot just killed me dead. I lost power and everything. If you wouldn't mind saving, well, uh, at least save the helmet.
um, hover quad. What the heck? Which it was oh, that's not you. You took off in the... Ch oh. Yeah, there's a few yeah, guys out he here. did get in? Uh, I don't know. Did he get in? There's a couple. Of, there's a couple other guys out here. There was a guy in a white suit. There's two of them. Um. No, I totally <laughs> forgot what I was saying before. What was I saying before okay. that? Oh, what so I, when I tried to when I tried to get the hover quad on there, you knocked no, me off no and you knocked. The, yeah, ma knock these guys over. Knock them over. What do you mean knock you off? I had the engine. I had. I was no, 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 hold on. No, I'm, I'm talking to Lazarus. Oh. There's these two guys walking around the pads. Fly over by them. You, you can't uh, knock I'm them off. Trying. Oh. No, I'm doing it. There we go. There you go. 